back again uh, as always this is mark from 26 media uh, now we're gonna start uh, using our software so we're gonna start with InDesign let me open InDesign so that all of you can see uh, I'm loading my InDesign this is how it looks uh, I'm hoping for the uh, for the maybe 10th 9th time and all right my indesign is open now and this is how it comes hello again have a good a great day it's saying hello again because i've opened many times and those are all the previous projects i have made if it was open for the first time if it, it would show differently maybe i can go here and say Give me Adobe InDesign interface. I just want to show you how it opens for the first time. Uh, I hope we can find but if we don't it's also fine okay this is how it opens for the first time so in your computer should show like this but in mine of course because I am opening I've been open in the in design many times already it shows different than yours but in yours it should say welcome to InDesign but on mine it's showing differently because I've been opening InDesign for many times so you click here to create new or you can click here in my case it will show like this I can click here to create news uh, you can also say control N to create a new file so I'm just gonna click here to create a new file and I'm gonna quickly explain to you how they work and we can get moved all right this is my InDesign let me open it very big so we can see clearly here I put the title of what I'm creating uh, in this case if I'm creating a business card I can say a business card and if I'm a business card if I'm creating anything you, you give any title anything that you wanna create so in this case I'm creating a, a magazine so I'm gonna say book book in this case maybe the assignment a1 because this is what I'm creating and this is the size of the book on the assignment and the number of pages are 20 starting from page 1 the column is the number of column that the book is gonna have the margin we're not gonna touch everything you leave it as it is the bleed is gonna be three millimeters the rest of it you can leave it as it is so this is facing pages because the book if you are printing them they normally face the pages if you are not printing the book you don't need to take facing pages maybe if you want to use it for social media for website or for any digital platform so in this case I'm gonna leave still with as facing pages because I want to create a book where the page face each other so this is how it's gonna look like and before I say create under printing it's gonna show you all the settings for printing the sizes and pages web it shows you the web size and mobile app sorry mobile it shows you the mobile sizes please do not get confused because in InDesign if it says web or print or mobile it doesn't mean that you are creating a website or a mobile app it's only the size of the screen whatever artwork you are doing it gives you the specific size it has nothing to do of, uh, with applications or website so let's go ahead I'm gonna hit on create uh, this is loading and very soon it's gonna come all right here it came this is what I mean by facing pages this is page one this is page two page three they are facing each other facing each other 
the only tip I have to give you, if you are creating a book which you are printing, uh, always make sure that it's multiple by four. It's like one, two, three, four. And this is because when you are creating a book, when you bind, the book has to be multiple of four because one page has got f one paper has got four pages. I'm not so sure how I can give you the perfect example, but I'm gonna make another video which I'm gonna tag under this one that explain how the page works. Okay, so today's for today's uh, assignment, we're gonna use page number 13. <laughs> Let me go to pages so I can show you where the page number 13 is. And before all that, I'm gonna quickly show you how InDesign is and what it does. <laughs> Okay, here I am, any random page, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna quickly show you two tools, the selection tool and the type tool. For you to understand the selection tool, I'm gonna show you a rectangle tool as well, which is this one. So I take the rectangle tool, I create my square here. I'm gonna fill, there are two here, this is the fill and this is the stroke. The fill is the content inside the shape and the stroke is the content around the shape. Uh, Microsoft Office, call it outline if it's gonna be easier for you to understand you might not be able to see but if I increase to maybe seven you'll be able to see as I increase it you can see it here go back to selection tool I can move it like this so you can see clearly and then I can go to this guy rectangle tool again and I create my rectangle this time I'm gonna give it a different color, pink, my favorite color. And on the stroke, I'm going to use black. Black is fine for the stroke. This stroke I'm not gonna make very heavy. Uh, those are the small thing I wanna show you. I can maybe may bring this guy here. So now is the time for me to show you. Selection tool and type tool. What selection tool does is just to click, select. I select this one, I select this one, I select this one, I move this one, I move this one. This is all selection tool does. I can also resize them, make it smaller, make it bigger. Maybe move it around after selecting. I can move anything around like this. I can move it around and I can bring, I can right light arrange bring it to front is already in front I can arrange send it to the back it goes behind so this is all the selection tool does and then the type tool what it does is you are not able to type unless you go to type tool and then you create your text box to create your text box you simply just draw or drag your line I will drag my box like this and then my text box is ready for me to type anything I want This is how text box work. And then after that, I can highlight them and give any font I want. I can increase the font. I can decrease the font. I can change the font type. I can use this beautiful one. I can make the font bigger. I can change the font color here. Sorry. I go back to my type tool. I highlight this guy. I can change the font color and make sure you make your, inst your intention clear. If you do not highlight, InDesign will not know which one you want to do. If I want to highlight or if I want to change the color of this, this guy here, you make sure you highlight them and you change the color. If you don't do that, InDesign won't know which text you are trying to, to change the color. Like for instance, uh, if I come here, type tool, and if I come here, I highlight this guy. I won't be able to, I'll be able to change this color maybe to blue. But if I come here, just there, and I change this color to black, nothing will happen because InDesign doesn't know which one I want. But if I highlight and I change the color to black, it will work.
only the highlighted one <laughs> so this is type tool for you and this is selection tool and rectangle tool all it does is to create rectangle circles any kind of rectangle the way you want it already created the rectangle but as you can see the fill is empty so if I want to fill I can go there <laughs> and i can feel and then suddenly it's gonna have anything inside and this one as well i can feel suddenly it's gonna have anything inside so that was the basic uh, tools we're gonna be learning today i'll delete all i'll delete all of them and i'll start putting the files that we are going to use okay so for this tutorial we're going to page number 13 which is this one and we go to our assignment <laughs> from our assignment we go to stories page number 13 as well we're going to use this guy to put image in InDesign, the only thing you do is to drag this guy like this. You leave and then you minimize this guy and then you can place this image here. Like this, I place my image and I go to the type tool. I create the text or the heading. If you compare on your page number 13 it says Africa innovates with housing so I'm gonna put it here uh, the same text as I said you can also find it here and uh, uh, the same folder I'm gonna double click so I can open my Microsoft Office file while it's open I'm gonna try type Africa innovates with housing highlight all of that to highlight this control a I make all of them uppercase and then I increase the font because it was too small after increasing the font maybe to 28 I'm gonna center them after centering them uh, this is how this guy is going to look it's perfect to me I'm not so sure about you now it's time for me to put my text here I go here Africa Innovate is there I'm gonna highlight all of that copy Control C to copy and I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna create another type tool under type tool again never forget every time you want to use you want to place any content on your artwork you use a type tool highlight all of this and then you can see the cursor is there waiting for the text to be placed and then you say control V control V from your keyboard is the same as uh, you right click and say paste it's gonna paste like this and I'm gonna delete this content that is on top there I'm gonna delete what is also in front here and it should look like this after that I'm gonna highlight all of it or you can just say control A from your keyboard to select all I'll reduce the font size to 10 or maybe 9 I think 9 looks better <clears throat> after that if you check on top here I'm still under selection tool make sure you come back to selection tool select your text and then you're gonna see this option here if you increase the columns are gonna be three this is perfect and then after that uh, you check if your font is okay like that and then I'm gonna zoom in to zoom in you hold alt from your keyboard and then you scroll up and down using your mouse so I'm gonna double click zoom in I'll highlight the first text which is the T after highlighting the first text I go to paragraph there is a uh, uh, how do you call this character here where the a is under there is a P this is for paragraph 
I go under here and here you see this guy I don't know the name of this it actually doesn't have a name if you increase this you see your first text of your paragraph is going to be bigger if you want to give, give it a little bit of more style you can even change the color there is a, there is a lot of yellow there so I can maybe use a yellow color which is also not too bad uh, maybe after using yellow I can give it a stroke maybe black <laughs> and it doesn't really look so nice but you can I'm just trying to teach you some features and showing you what you can do I go to my text uh, I can see that there is more space here maybe I can put two images in that space and it can be this one and maybe this one I can drag I select this one and this one I can drag both of them can you see number two there I can drag both of them I minimize I can place the first one up to here and I can place the second one up to here <laughs> I think it looks perfect like that uh, maybe I can adjust them like this move this one up using my, the arrow command keys from my keyboard and I can just align them properly here if you want to preview there are two ways you can press W it's gonna remove all the lines and confusion around your artwork or you can please uh, click shift W from your keyboard it's gonna uh, preview like this so this is enough for me and this was all for today's class I hope you guys enjoyed it very well or oh, very much the only tips I have for you is you always start your heading big on top here and then your image of what you want to display to tell more about what your story is and then you follow with the text this is a very simple layout for beginners beginners I wanted to design something very easy that you can easily follow and understand so I went to the selection tool and the type tool we didn't go so deep because it's a beginning classes or beginners classes beginners course next class you're gonna learn other tools but this was all for today next time we're go I'm gonna show you how to design a business card so for today it was all thank you so much and I really enjoy being with you you are talking to mark or you are learning with mark at 26 mediascom thank you very much and I see you in the next video Also, don't forget to always save your artwork. I'm saving mine now. Good. So let me close this one. <laughs> Those are the other previous artwork I have done before. I'm also going to close this one. alright so this was all for today's class you save make sure you shave really make sure you save and close your artworks and next time we together again it was really nice being with you guys I enjoyed it very much so see you very soon don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media